Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, so we just drove pretty much all day and right now we are in sunny southern Florida. You guys can probably hear there's a highway back there. That highway is one of two ways to cross the bottom of the Florida Peninsula. The awesome thing about these two roads is that they both go through the Florida Everglades. That means miles and miles and miles of these canals, obviously loaded with alligators. This road is called Alligator Alley. But also pythons, snakes, lots of stuff that could potentially hurt you. But more importantly, these canals are loaded with fish and not just like fish. We're talking all types of really cool exotic fish, big fish. And as I said, these canals go on for miles. So we have just a ton of water to fish. I'm excited, man. This is one of my favorite types of fishing to do. I've had some Everglades videos in the past on the channel, but I've never fished this road. So this is all new territory. I'm tired of freaking driving, man. Let's go break out a rod. There's some spots that are kind of like this, which is like more of a rest area. And then um, I think there's like more roadside spots too, which are a little bit more sketchy, but could also hold some cool stuff. But yeah, man, we're gonna be down here in South Florida for a few days. The fishing opportunity opportunities are just crazy. Let's get a rod out. Hopefully we get bit, but not by an alligator. Ooh, all right, let's get this thing started, man. So we've got one rod. We've got this little dude on here. This is a quarter ounce jig head. And then we just put like a little 2.75 inch little plastic swim bait. And it is freaking toasty out, man. We had to put this sun shirt on. All right, let's see what we can do, man. We are going to start like right over in this area and then there's this whole canal there that just goes on as i said for miles and miles and miles so we'll probably make a couple of stops i'm just interested to see if we can see dude there's a bunch of bait right here oh dude i just spooked professional fisherman just walking up on the spot spooking stuff oh oh my gosh dude I think that's one of my freaking target fish that just followed us right there. Okay, he might, I'm pretty sure that was a freaking peacock bass, which is one of my top targets here today in the Everglades. They're just freaking crazy fish, man. Super pretty colors, super hyper aggressive, put up a crazy fight. Pretty sure one just chased us in. Anybody on the side? So along with peacock bass, there are so many different types of fish in here. A lot of exotic fish, a lot of non-native fish that just have kind of made their own populations and are just in here heavy. There's a lot of cichlids, a lot of gar. There's some bass, um, snakehead. There's some uh, sketchy looking bubbles right over there. I don't know if that could be a gator. It could be turtles or something. There's just a lot of really cool fish though and a lot of really big fish. I hooked into a massive, massive, massive like crazy bowfin a couple years ago fishing the everglades i mean you never know right even like snook can be in here it's a lot of stuff there's definitely some life over here again i don't want to spend too much time in one spot there oh dude this rock looks so good right there there's so many different spots though to hit oh i just got bit you won't you won't come back for it. Oh, frick, dude. What is that? It's not just like biting it. It's legit thumping me. We've definitely got some signs of life. Let me try to sneak up over this way here. This dock is having some difficulties staying afloat, I'd say. Always got to be careful, though, man. Oh my god right at the surface right at the freaking bank dude oh my gosh let's go <laughs> let's freaking go dude. oh dude it's a male too this is so sick these dudes are so strong oh there goes my tail all right we're friends here oh look at that man let's freaking go dude oh 
First fish of the little South Florida trip. First fish out of the Everglades. A beautiful peacock bass. You can see with that little hump right there. It's like gummy if you're wondering, but there we go, man. That is so cool. I might've dropped him. Here you go, buddy. Sorry. I was going to get a really cool pick and a cool release of stuff, but now I feel bad. If you would like stats on fishing skills, I, I don't know where my fish handling would be. Probably kind of low, but dude, benefit of the doubt, I will say those are one of the hardest fish to freaking hold on to, man. I prefer to use lip grippers. I don't even know where my freaking grippers are. Last time I used grippers, I got roasted. Y'all were all like, why do you use the grippers? That's why I was using the grippers. All right. First fish of alligator alley. One of my favorite fish to catch, especially, I mean, where else can you really catch those besides down south here in Florida? I mean, you can go to like Brazil and the Amazon and stuff. That's just so cool that we caught one. And that was right, like right at the bank. There's rocks right there. And it was right before I got to the tip of the rocks to bring that cast back in. Any of his friends over here? Man, that was so freaking sick, dude. If you guys could go down there, hit that thumbs up button, it really would be appreciated. I'm really excited over the next couple of videos just to like switch it up, you know? I think this is just gonna be a lot of fun. And I was gonna say like, you know, these rest areas, they're probably pretty pressured since people can just easily stop and, you know, start casting. So I was like, I don't know, you know, the luck we'll have at a spot like this. Hey, I will freaking take it. A couple of bumps, one munch, can't complain about that. All right, let me get one real good cast at the end of this. Anybody else here? Nothing on that cast, but a nice Everglades little piece of spinach right there. If you guys have ever got a chance to see the Everglades, I would highly, highly recommend it. It is like one of my favorite national parks I've ever been to. See all these like rocks and everything right here, man. This looks it's pretty darn interesting. But it's just really cool, man. There's lots of gators, lots of nature. There's like this big, I think it's like a 14, 15, 16 mile like bike loop you could do at the national park. You could like rent a bike there, it's so much fun. Just bike around, see gators. But this fishing is one of my favorite freaking things I've ever done, man. Hopping canals, you never know what you'll find. As I mentioned earlier, it, we, uh, we were in the car a lot today. So we don't have like the entire day to fish we still got like a while out here until you know the sun starts setting down and we have some bug spray just in case because i know around here the bugs can get super bad but it'll be interesting like as the sun starts to go down if like the fish start to you know get fired up a little bit maybe we'll try to throw some top water or something anybody else around again this does look like a pretty well pressured spot to fish see that's what i'm talking about like these guys over there just literally stopped off the road with some rods just parked Exactly what I did. That's just the fun about it. It's just so much to fish. In any cast, in any of these canals, you never freaking know, man. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm just walking. I didn't even see that guy over there. All right, so I'm literally just casting, and this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. That is our first gator being down here in South Florida. I, I just, I don't know. A lot of people down here are like, oh, they won't mess with you. Dude, look at it. It's a freaking dinosaur, man. The thing you kind of have to be worried about, though, especially in these, like, touristy areas and these little pull-offs and stuff, a lot of these alligators get fed by people because, you know, tourists, they're like, ooh, look, an alligator. Let's give them some fried chicken or, you know, let's throw them some nerd clusters or whatever it is. I've seen it before where these gators are almost, like, trained to go to people, and that's when it gets a little, a little sketchy. But alligators in general, they're just so cool, man. They can literally climb fences. Ugh. This was cool, man. We're just getting started. Saw our first gator, caught our first fish. Let's head on over uh, to the next spot. I don't even know where that is. I'm just gonna drive and if I can pull off or something looks cool, we're, we're gonna do that. I gotta unlock my car to get in. That'd probably help. All right, here's another little pull off. That freaking Florida sun is bright. Look, there's like a little scouting area. Let's see if we can see anything. There's a guy fishing over there, and he, uh, don't see any gators. There's a picture of one right there. I thought it'd be kind of cool just to come up here, like touristy, look around. I, I see two giant peacock bass. I don't know if I'd be able to get to them. Two huge peacock bass right down here. Hold on. Let me see if I can remember. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> this is some freaking Assassin's Creed stuff right here, man. We literally just use eagle vision. Hey, by the way, if you like birds, this is part of the Great Florida Birding Trail. I feel like, honestly, that's probably something I'll get into when I get a little bit older. All right, I think I, any spider webs? I'll go under this. 
Oh, I don't know if they're still there. Let's just give some casts around here. Dude, giant peacock. peacock. <laughs> yeah, they were together though. So does that mean like, I don't know, were they doing stuff? Will they even be interested? Are they even still here? This might be a little sketch. They were right along this grass line near some rocks. Just swimming. Looking like they needed a little snack. Hmm. They might have just went on their way. I don't know, dude. We'll keep throwing here a little bit. I mean, there could be some other stuff too. Just, I know that these are super aggressive fish, but also they're not like dumb, you know? I'm not the only one that can go up on that platform and freaking look over. Oh my God, I just got, I just got hammered. But what I'm saying, you know, if these fish have seen some things, they might not be as, Right there. <sighs> when you get thumped like that, dude, it just makes your heart flutter a little bit. You know, I was actually thinking about it earlier. I've never fished the Everglades I don't think ever in the warmer months. It's always been in the like Februarys, the Marches, never in the summer. And usually I feel like I don't see this many peacocks around, but it makes sense. I think they're more, you know, active in the warmer months. So this might be a perfect time to be down here, man. We'll throw a few more casts here. If nothing is going on. We're just going to pop lock and Swap spots. Let's try one. Oh man. Okay, I see a big gator coming my way. <laughs> That's probably time to move down. Holy, that is a big one. All right, that is my cue back up let me show you all this right here man see if you could see that it's kind of far away so it might look like little tiny pixels on the screen that is a really big alligator dude like that might be like 10 plus feet and now he's looking right at me he was trying to he was trying to look i was right there dude i see you Let's see if i can cast from all the way back here <laughs> nobody saw that right Look at this dude. I just went back up here to look at him. That is, that might be a 12 footer. It's really far away. I'm trying to zoom in as much as I can, but that's a really big gator dude. He's just kind of looking at us. I don't know, man, he might be a little hungry. All right, that was cool. So far, two spots, two gators. I uh, don't, oh, right here, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that fish right there in the middle of the screen. Might be a little hard to see. That is a pleco or an armored catfish. Those are all over South Florida in the Everglades. I think those are like the same type of fish you can buy at the pet store. And they suck and like kind of clean your aquarium sort of. All right, buddy. Thanks for keeping us company. All right, spot number three. Dude, it looks like there's some good current here. I don't know if that's good or bad for this area. It's got this nice little boat ramp right here. The boat ramp is closed for some reason. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, something big right here. What is that? What is that? What is that? Wait a second. What in the world? <laughs> I've never caught one of these before. These things don't eat lures, but tell me that's not kind of in its mouth a little bit. Maybe not. What the freaking heck, man? This is so cool. Again, I've never caught one of these before. 
This is an armored catfish. I gotta look this up. I don't know if they have barbs. All right, well, I'm not gonna lie. I am not super familiar with these fish. I've seen people catch them like with their hands and stuff before. I don't know if there's any barbs to like be cautious of, but they just like, look at this. It looks like a freaking alien, man. There he goes. I don't even know if I'm supposed to release that. Okay, so this is all really shallow right here. I guess I literally was just bringing it along. I snagged the poor dude. Yeah, I, didn't, I promise you, I did not even see that fish. All right, it gets pretty deep right here. Whew, dude, it is freaking toasty. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about though, man. You just never know when it comes to fishing. You never know what's gonna happen. I, dude, that was so close to hooking him in the mouth though. If that was like a little bit closer, I would have been like, all right, he ate it. I don't know, do we count that as a catch? Today we will. I don't know if like for like a life list I will. Oh, I just thought I just saw a freaking gator. I'm seeing things now. Hucking strange fish, seeing Illusions. That's what the Everglades will do to you. All right, we'll try this boat ramp a little bit, kind of fish near these pads. There's just a really big current. I feel like I really haven't fished much of these like little pull-offs or canals that have like a really heavy current in the Everglades before. I don't know, maybe it'll be good. Just want to get up right on this grass and all these lilies. See if anybody's ready to pounce. Let me know if you guys were doing this kind of fishing, what uh, kind of lure you'd be throwing. I've tried a few out in my times at different spots at Everglades over the years. Small lures are really fun because like you can get a bunch of those little cichlids and really interesting things as well as like worms but i found that this kind of like little paddle tail is like one of the oh hello if you could throw it not in the weeds all right well this is more roadside fishing i'd say Let's see if anybody's around here i feel like being a little bit up like this this would be a fire spot to throw like Texas rig or wacky rig Sanko or something. See if we can get any, any bass or anything. I know there's gotta be some fish in these freaking pads though, man. Definitely looks like an interesting spot. Don't get me wrong, I love me some bridge fishing. But I don't know. I don't think this is it, man. I thought maybe this looked good. I think we need to get back to the canals where there's the rocks and stuff. I feel like that's where I've seen a lot of more life at. Even though this vegetation here does look pretty interesting. All right, well, this might be interesting. Keyword might. I figured why not try to switch it up just a little bit here. And if you guys ever watched my buddy Creek Fishing Adventures, one time at the Everglades, I saw him using something like this. It's kind of like a Helger mite, just like a bug lure. Before we move spots, I want to test this out first, man. I'm just going to drop it right down here. This is lighter. So it kind of like floats down a little bit more gently for these fish. And I mean, I think it just looks good, man. There's some wind though. So hopefully we're going to be able to maneuver this we could always switch spots but it's a little lily pad spot man it just looks so interesting the big question i guess is if we do <laughs> hook something on this are we going to be able to get it up that's what i'm thinking not sure if this four pound test is everglades approved come on anybody hungry i guarantee we go over there to one of those rock spots we throw this we freaking get slammed I'm just surprised there's no like largies or anything in this. Looks pretty good to me. Anybody home? Oh boy, that's another thing. We can't afford to get this snagged on a lily. We might just not be getting it back if that's the case. Oh my gosh. 
dude, I think that was a freaking peacock just came and swiped at it. What the heck? I don't know if we're getting that thing in if he bites, dude. Oh my gosh, we got a fish on it. Dude, I got a peacock on me right now. I'll let down a little bit. It's chasing it and just like barely nipping the end. What is going on? Why are they playing games? Come on, you know you want to eat it. Come on, dude, eat it. He's right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he wanted it. Uh, dude, would he eat it again? I don't think so, maybe. Oh, that was so cool. He was stalking it. Legitimately, like almost every time I threw it in the water, that freaking fish would like, like almost swipe at it. I don't know if he just was missing it or what? I don't know if he'd go back for it. I know they're aggressive, but I don't know if they're that aggressive. Unless he had a friend. That's just crazy to me though. We got, I don't know how many fish to bite, but I feel like most of them are freaking peacocks. Which that's so, I, I, dude, I'm more than okay with that. I was expecting to catch, you know, cichlids, Oscars. Usually every time we come down here, we catch some bunch of Oscars. Yeah, I think homie is kind of over it. Understandably, he kind of just got yoinked a little bit. Anybody over here? Oh my gosh. Dude, there's another peacock right under here. Dude, if I freaking trigger him, he's going to eat this. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Dude, four pound test. Oh gosh, this is so silly. Can we get him up? Oh my gosh, that's bigger than I even would have thought it'd be. Oh no, that's not good. That is the opposite of good. All right, if you could just not do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> not just that we lost the fish. I don't want to, <sighs> never good leaving lords in the mouth. Well, isn't it funny, like, at the time, I'd be happy to catch a smaller one with the ultralight. That's when we freaking hook a freaking honker. Another gator looking at us over there, too. All right, I might need to reevaluate. This rod ain't gonna work. All right, well, we're just trying different concoctions here. One of my boxes, I had this. And if I remember correctly, years ago down in South Florida, I was having luck on brighter colors. So we put this little thing on a Ned rig. I don't even know what you call this. I don't even know what it looks like in the water. Guess we're about to find out. Oh, that looks pretty interesting. All right, this rod's a little bit heftier. You can see what I was thinking though, right? Oh, dude, that looks so good. It's doing this crazy, like the legs are going crazy on the way down. But you can see what I was thinking. Lighter, might be better, maybe some smaller fish. No, we catch the freaking big ones. So now we're kind of in that happy medium place. This isn't a super heavy rod. This isn't a super big lure. But we could work this one a little bit better as opposed to like that little swim bait. 
at this oh dude there's two gators out here hold on a second look at this one there and then this one's a little hard to see one hanging out there i mean we got some company for sure We'll see. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, even bigger peacock. No, 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 no. Wait, that's not a peacock, what is that? Oh, we're wrapped up in this. What is going on, dude? Oh, that is a peacock. Oh my God, it's a monster peacock. Oh my God, that is a freaking, that, that might be my personal best. What is going on, dude? This is definitely a giant. All right, so there's gators. Oh, those gators are coming closer. Don't like that. Oh my gosh, I just wanna see you out of the water. Please come over here before the gator comes. If you could do that, that would be very nice. Oh, this, it's just such an incline. Dude, I hope you guys can see how big that fish is. We're just gonna to have to try to. All right, all right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. How did that rod not break? I have no clue. Oh my God, dude. What the freaking, oh, that just made it. this whole freaking everything worth it, man. Holy crap. I could really use a lip gripper right now. It's gonna rip my hand apart. I already know it. Look at that, right in the side of the mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that. How do we just freaking catch that? Oh, that is so cool, dude. That is so sick. Oh man, right on the side of the road at the Everglades. <laughs> he gave me a thumbs up. On the freaking yellow twisty. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go, y'all. Look at that fish right there. That is a beautiful peacock bass. Look at that mouth right there, man. Holy crap, that is crazy. All right, let's go get a release. Peacock, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one, huh? What's up? I caught it right over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go release it. Thank you, man. All right, here we go. Whew. You good? Thank you, man. Check it out. Yeah, man. Have a good one. Right, yeah. I couldn't even hear him, dude. <laughs> oh, man, that is so cool. If you guys go down there, hit that thumbs up button. That would be much appreciated. I am, that is, I don't know how I got that up. That rod should not have been able to do that. And that line, I think, might be six pound. I don't know. That's so cool, too. That guy was, that guy was cool. All right, let's see if we get any more. Maybe the yellow is the freaking wave, man. Woo! That is what I'm talking about, dude. Oh, look at this. Look at it right there, man. Gators coming to check it out. That is why I came down here for the opportunity. Ooh, gator disappeared. See, that's spooky. When they do that, you can't even see them. But to have the opportunity to catch one of these things, man, it's, especially that size, 
in the Everglades. I might have caught a bigger one before, but it definitely wasn't in the Everglades. That's definitely my Everglades PB, I'm pretty sure. I don't really know, but for the first time on this road and just stopping at little stops along the way, I could not be happier, man. Again, this is what we're throwing. I don't even know what this is called. I think I got this in some fishing challenge like years ago. Just on a little Ned rig weight. It looks really good when it falls down. Oh man, all right. Oh, we'll fish here a little bit more. It wasn't an instant bite either. I felt like I got ticked a couple of different times. Oh, I think I just hit bottom of a snag there for a second. But yeah, I think I got bit a couple of times and then finally like, once he took it, I knew. I was like, dude, that's not a freaking miniature fish right there, man. Ooh. All right, stuff is starting to get active, it looks like. It's kind of near the time where the sun is going to set soonish. We've been at it for a good bit. It's definitely been a long day. It's definitely a good feeling after a long day of driving. Oh my gosh, man. That is just so sick. That's a snag. Take the bad with the good. Maybe we can get it out. There we go. It's about to ask that gator for help. Oh my gosh, that's a fish. Dude, I thought I was snagged. We got a big something on here. What the frick is this? Dude, this isn't a peacock. What is that? Oh no. That's not what we want. We caught a Everglades turtle. Oh, stuff is eating around here. I don't know how I'm supposed to... Freaking turtle, man. Come on, hurry up before this gator eats you. Could have sworn I was snagged. And it just started moving. All right, hold on. I'll be back in a second. This is... This is a predicament. All right, gator's still here. While there's still a lot of daylight, let's see what else we can catch. I, again, I don't know the actual name of this lord. What should we call this? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. It's starting to turn on. I don't know if that was a freaking gar or a snakehead. <laughs> what is going on just for this one little roadside spot? There's a skinny dude, skinny teethy something. What the heck was that, man? What is going on? I don't know if it's the time of day or if it's the freaking lore, man. How's it going? How's it going? What you got? You got that? Uh, I got a pretty good peacock a little bit ago. Yeah, pretty big one. Yeah, bit this. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Do you love this thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I don't even know what you call that, but. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Keep catching, man. All right, awesome. Have a good one. <laughs> he didn't even know what it was either. He's like, what? You caught it on that? Hey man, this might be the new go-to. I am pretty surprised though that, I mean, so far, we've got a lot of interesting stuff to happen. But realistically, we've only, I mean, besides the turtle and I guess the armored catfish, we really only caught peacocks, which is honestly for me, best case scenario. I already said it enough. I love these things. But you'd think that, I mean, every other time we've caught bunch of random stuff too but again i've never been to this exact road so i don't know definitely probably could have found an easier spot to land fish out of miles and miles and miles of freaking canal it 
So far though, I'm happy about this, man. If you guys are not already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button. Over the next couple days, we're gonna be making some really sick videos that I'm, I'm just really excited for it. Fishing some new spots, doing some cool stuff. I mean, South Florida, honestly, is one of the craziest places in the US, but honestly, maybe even the world to fish. There's some really cool stuff here. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more Everglades style fishing like this. I mean, we only barely scratched the surface and this is one road. I don't even know. I wonder what the other road looks like and how fishy it is during these summer months. Cause during the winter, it was kind of on fire, dude. Wow, all right, look at this. Look at this right here, man. That's nice. I do like me a good sunset. Especially when you're out here fishing, you know, things could be worse. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. What is that? Oh, all right, so this is where we're fishing. Y'all see anything? Hello? Look at that though. Oh my, dude. Put that in a freaking picture frame. Holy. Alright, it is the next day. We are in the crib. Not too bad, man. Got a little pole view right here. I'm gonna be down here in South Florida for two whole days, so hopefully we can get more than just this video. Hopefully the fish cooperate, but thank you guys so much for all the support. Thank you for um, making this all possible. Alright guys, hey man, so let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. Well.